So let's talk about some of these airdrop news. And one of these airdrop news that I want to show you today is the Intract X Blast. So if you haven't staked your Ethereum or stable coins back then on Blast, well, I think you should because it accumulated a decent amount of points already. And now if you haven't done that yet, if you want to start participating and potentially qualify yourself for the airdrop, you can start with a website like Intract.io. So in here, essentially, you can go ahead and complete this simple quest. Like, for example, you can do some bunch of social quests, like follow them on Twitter, join the Discord. You can also do the main request. Like, for example, you can go to LogX Exchange and do whatever they want. So for example, if you click on that, you'll see that you need to do these quests and then you can claim your NFT, which is going to be on Blast. So first, you'll need to bridge a small amount to Blast Network. And it's fairly simple because when you're going to interact with some of these applications, like, for example, Orbiter Finance, or RhinoFi or all two. This also will help you to qualify for the Blast Edge because you're gonna interact with many different contracts. Also, you have your testnet on the bottom. So for example, you can see quests like Rubik, Interport, Nomis. So you can complete all of these quests and some of these up then potentially might qualify you for different airdrops as well like for example synth futures which we're going to talk about this in a second other way you can do is for example you can go to element market and you can find some cheap nfts on blast and you can buy some if you want them of course not a financial advice guys these nfts might go to zero so you might never see your money again but for example yesterday we have blastopians and today we're gonna have blast runners so blastopians they did from 0.03 to 0.075 now so 2x from this point. Other way you can qualify for Blast Airdrop is you can go to official website and if you're going to bridge some decent amount, you can start interacting with these applications. So I'm going to be making another video on this topic so you can learn more in detail and also check the video that I made yesterday on Blast. On the top of that, Zora added Blast Network. So if you haven't seen my previous video on Zora, definitely watch this because now you can use Blast on Zora, which I think is a great idea if you want to participate and potentially qualify yourself for Zora Airdrop. Another one, we've got Ambient and Ambient started accumulating points as well. And and personally i think it's heavy diluted so you're not going to be earning a ton of points but it's always better than nothing so if, for example if you provide liquidity on scroll and if you're trying to qualify for an airdrop do it on ambient because you can qualify yourself for ambient and also scroll so in this case you can do that as well on blast so if you're earning blast you can also qualify yourself for ambient another news we've got from blur which they said time for something new so i don't know what that means maybe we're gonna see some incentives for blur stakers maybe they're gonna do airdrop quicker than we expected or maybe blur is going to interact blast marketplace onto blur so definitely everything is possible another one we've got is the arc airdrop and they recently did a snapshot and also they showed us the criteria so for example if you held pyth tia or jupiter if you were a staker you're gonna qualify for the arc airdrop and personally, I think the criteria were really harsh because if you look at the amount that you had to do, essentially you can see that you need to stake at least 1200 pipe. The same amount goes with, for example, TR, 100 TR. This is the really high level, in my opinion, if you want to qualify for airdrop. Usually we saw somewhere around 25, 50, 100 is definitely the highest that I've seen so far. And also we've got a 1200 Jupiter. Another news is from Syn Futures Protocol, which is the derivatives protocol built on Blast. If you go back to Blast, you can see that they are already here and they hinted that they will be doing an airdrop. So they might do two airdrops. So we're going to see probably like Syn Futures airdrop and also they got some Blast tokens for the development of Syn Futures. So these tokens are going to be basically distributed among all of these users that use Syn Futures. So the more protocols you're going to use, the better for you because you're going to qualify for two airdrops. So they are listening to the community and community ask where is the token? So they are finally happy to announce that they are working on the token launch and if you enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the upcoming alpha hit the thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and i'll see you the next one